Hey everyone, what if I told you the screen on this system, when it's a Switch Pro at 720p, which is bigger than this, could still be a retina display? Now, what is a retina display? Well, that is a screen resolution that is at a certain DPI level that leads you to be unable to tell individual pixels. Now, it sounds crazy to say 720p could ever be a retina display, but We'll talk about this in a moment. First, I got to remind you, we are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise, along with two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. It'll be user choice on that. That's three total winners this month. Head down to the description or the pinned comment to enter. Now, the Nintendo Switch Pro is coming out supposedly either this year, late this year, or early 2022. Current reports have it slated for mass production this summer, so coming out this holiday. However, obviously it could be delays. Maybe a certain game they want to launch with it, <clears throat> Breath of the Wild 2, isn't ready to go yet. They want that to launch early next year, which would be interesting since Breath of the Wild 2 would then like bump up with Pokemon Arceus. But whatever, that's not my problem to worry about. Uh, having too many good games coming around, around the same time, is that really a problem? Besides to like my wallet, I don't know. Uh, but what's interesting about the arguments over the Switch Pro is that one of the main elements that people are kind of upset with, assuming all the reports are true, is that the screen that they are upgrading to, the OLED panel, it's only 720p. And that has some people really, really pissed off. And I got to say... I don't think you should be pissed off. I don't think you should be upset. And the Switch detractors out there that are LOLOLing at us, which by the way, they're already, those, those same people already laugh at this device as it is. So should we really even take them seriously? They're not even consumers that would buy a Switch even if it had a 1080p panel. But should we really be upset about that? Now, I've went through various retina calculators online to try to figure out is it possible that 720p could be retina? Because after all, it only puts out about 209 dpi at a 7-inch screen. Well, it turns out that yes, actually, there is a certain distance that 720p becomes retina. And that distance at 7 inches diagonal is 16 inches. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but let's actually take a look at it. So I don't have an actual... Um, tape measure i i can't find it right now but i do have this this is a channel uh that is supposed to be to hide cables on a wall and according to the package it is 14 inches long so i'm gonna kind of like put it in my mouth and go sideways here and show you roughly what 16 inches looks like if you were to play your switch at that distance on a switch pro to get the the retina display action so here we go Now, that's actually quite far when you think about it. Um, and most people aren't going to like hold the switch out like this when they're playing. And that, that really wasn't what I was doing. Um, I just couldn't show it on camera perfectly. But really, it's about the same distance of if I take my, ha my hands, rest them on my desk while I'm sitting in my ch chair, which, by the way, my chair is cranked up all the way so that my legs are hitting the top of the table. Um, and I look down. That's about 16 inches. So from this playing angle it would be a retina display for me on a Switch Pro. However, let's be real, most people don't necessarily play like that. They play like this, hands hands on an armrest, holding it like this. Here you've got maybe you know 8 to 10, maybe 12 inches of distance at most. Uh, some people lay down in a bed where they might be like this. So, you know, basically, the uh, hands resting on a table, 16-inch perfect retina display distance is something that does factually exist on Switch, but also, let's just be real, a lot of people aren't going to get it. So that is where some of the controversy comes in, where people are saying, screw this, we should have 1080p, because 1080p will get us the, to that 300 dpi or better, which is what Apple rates Retina at. They won't even bother to talk about Retina at under that, likely because they realize, you know, if people have a Retina display you know, hold it right here. Even though technically the distance from me to my monitor is more than 16 inches. I mean, I even reach my arms fully out. I can't touch my monitor. So I don't actually need the 300 DPI here to not see pixels. Although this is a bigger screen. So take that for what you will. It's only 1080p and I can see pixels on it. But I mean, again, bigger display. So here's the thing. 
I honestly think that people are overblowing the 720p thing, and it's actually the perfect choice for Nintendo on this platform. And there's a couple reasons for it. One, we need to first talk about how important is resolution in the first place. So if you look at this video here, which was put up a year ago, I'll put a link to the full video down in the description, a couple years back actually, it was like back in 2018, when the iPhone XR was coming out, which is not a 1080p screen. It is an iPhone that has an 828p screen. And they put it up against the Pico phone, or Pico phone, uh, which has a 1080p screen and only costs $300. Because a lot of the LOL switch arguments are gonna be, LOL, you could get 1080p in you know a super cheap phone, right? Well, here's the thing. They compare in a blind test to random people, random consumers. It, uh, everything's completely taped off. You can't tell what's an iPhone, what's the Pico phone. There's no brand bias. And one by one by one by one, literally everyone chooses the iPhone XR. And again, it's not because of the brand name. It's because of the screen. They were debating which one had a better screen. You would figure the Pico phone has a higher resolution, hence higher pixel density, and more like a retina display for a phone would have won. But it didn't. The iPhone XR did. Why? Better colors. Okay. Better colors. Better contrast. What do a vi more vivid picture and a more preferred viewing experience. And everyone swore that that was a 1080p screen. But that's not the case. It turned out that people were choosing the lower resolution screen because what they preferred were the actual colors. So technically, a Switch Pro is going to be 7 inches. It will technically be lower resolution than this one at 720p because it's a bigger screen. But this is an LCD panel versus OLED. That OLED panel is going to have better color accuracy, better whites, deeper blacks. And also, by the way, um, hello... It's going to be more vibrant. It's going to have better contrast. It's going to be a better picture quality. It's across the board going to look fundamentally better than this despite not upping the resolution. So it's already going to feel like a big leap to many people and a much more pleasing experience to our eyes just by the fact that it's an OLED panel and thus going to be more accurate and more pleasing and more vibrant and all that jazz. So then why would they just go with 1080p? It could still be all that, but also be 1080p. Well, 1080p obviously has more power draw. So let's start there. One way for Nintendo to maximize battery life on a more powerful system that's going to need more battery for the components is to find ways to cut battery elsewhere. Cutting battery in going from 1080p to 720 saves them roughly 20% of battery use from the resolution change. That is actually 20%. That's great. That could lead to longer battery life. Now that's obviously an easy argument to make, but what about an argument about the games? Cause obviously games would look better at 1080p, right? Hmm. Yes. And no. So if there was enough power under the hood in handheld mode to run games at a native, native 1080p, absolutely. You're just costing yourself resolution for no reason. And there probably will be enough power under the hood to run games that are native 1080p while docked. Here's the thing. Most games in handheld on this switch right here do not hit 720p, even from Nintendo. Yoshi's Crafted World, Fire Emblem Three Houses, so many examples from Nintendo, let alone The Witcher 3, Doom, etc., that do not come close to hitting 720p more than a frame here or there. And this matters because what we really want is enough power under the hood to get these games to run at a very good frame rate and a consistent 720p locked resolution. That should be our goal. To expect a leap from games that are running, like The Witcher 3, as low as 360p to just run at 1080 no it's gonna look even worse because you're blowing up a 360p image to a 1080p monitor it's going to look even worse you don't want that 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 big of a a, a change from resolution of, of output to resolution of the screen it's going to look horrible so it's a compromise it's a compromise, okay? Now, there are some things that will be better naturally. A lot of this is on developers, 
but tech size. So tech size in a game like Fire Emblem Three Houses, very, very tiny on this screen. However, on a slightly bigger screen, that text will be slightly bigger and thus more readable. On a 1080p screen, it would be smaller. Now, again, that isn't the hardware's problem. That's a developer problem. Developers should be like making dynamic text and making it resized based on resolution output. That is definitely something that should be happening. And for some reason, some developers just don't do it. They lock in that text size that works on a big TV, but doesn't work on a little screen. I still to this day don't know why developers do that, especially like Nintendo owned developers that literally just make games for the Switch. Why? I could see like, you know, like Doom or something that's multi-platform and, you know, that comes here and maybe they don't have things that mess with the text size. Nintendo games to me don't have an excuse, but still, it kind of proves a point that 720p is fine. 720p is great. 720p is a smart choice. 1080p would just draw more power from the system while the system wouldn't even have the ability to run these games. Indie games, not, not you know, indie games are, are kind of their own their own field where maybe they could hit 1080p and they would benefit from it. But AAA games and Nintendo games would not benefit from this 1080p screen that everyone thinks should exist in here. Guys, this isn't a next-gen Switch, and I think that's another thing we just need to accept. The Switch coming out might be even two or three times more powerful than this Switch. It's still not a next-generation leap. It's just not. Be happy that a 360p game like The Witcher 3, can now run at native 720. That's what we should be excited about. Don't worry about the fact that, oh my God, it's only 720 in 2021. Let me just tell you, the people that are doing this, they're not Nintendo fans. Not only are they not Nintendo fans, they weren't interested in the Switch anyways. They're looking for any reason to laugh at it. And while we're in, you know, while we're in this world of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and, you know, obviously like the 3090 graphics cards, people are all about that 4K, and that's great. But guys, I know there's phones. There's phones that have 4K screens. I get it. I get it. But if you took a 4K phone and you put it next up to a 1080p phone that has better colors and better contrast, people are going to choose that 1080p phone. There are things that matter more than resolution. And thankfully, we're getting that with an OLED panel. So thank you, Nintendo. We actually saw this back on Vita, by the way. Vita had a 540p um, OLED panel, and then they released a slim model that had a, uh, like a 500p or whatever LCD. And man, the colors and everything were just so much better on that OLED. That OLED panel at 540p looks good today. And that's lower resolution than what we're going to get on Switch. So what are we worried about? Absolutely nothing. That's what I say. All right, folks. Until we have some new news, until Nintendo announces Switch Pro, I am Nintendo Prime. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to have videos besides that. Hopefully some other good news coming today for Nintendo and other platforms. Actually, there's a lot of news going on with other platforms. I feel like it might be time for a Prime News episode. Uh, we, have, we have a lot to talk about with these other platforms. Sony and Microsoft are killing it in the news right now. They Some big things are happening. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.